Okay, just get yourself ready for your restorative session. We're just going to focus solely on relaxation this evening. So it's really warm today, isn't it? So that does things to your energy. It makes you feel quite tired. And you know, cause we're not really used to warm weather in this country, are we? And we like to have a moan about it, don't we, when it's warm. So just get yourself um, on your mat with the bolster from underneath your knees, blocks underneath your feet, and then just guide yourself down onto the floor. If you're wearing glasses, it's nice to take them off. If you can cover your eyes, it's nice to keep the light away helps to quiet in the brain so just enjoy this feeling of complete surrender into the floor If you feel that you need to adjust for comfort, then adjust. Never feel that you just need to sit out in discomfort. Just adjust wherever you need to. Just close your eyes. Allow the jaw to soften the tongue and the throat to soften and then observe how you soften around the forehead and around your eyes in on long, slow, deep, deliberate inhalations and exhalations.
Just observe the feeling of the body in contact with the floor and the bolsters and the blocks and the blankets. Draw your attention into the sole of your foot, into the soles of the feet, just so that the skin begins to tingle underneath the bottom of the feet. Consciously relax the soles of your feet. Relax in the soles of the feet. allowing them to totally soften from the muscle and the skin and the bones. Draw your attention onto the tops of your feet. Becoming conscious of the tops of the feet. And then relax the tops of the feet skin and the muscle and the bones just allow the entire foot to completely relax. Relaxing the tops of the feet and drawing your attention into your shins. So relaxing the shins, sinking them into the backs of the thighs. Just 
Draw your attention into your kneecaps and your thighs, systematically relaxing the seat, the kneecaps and the thighs just relaxing into the floor. Relaxing the thighs, letting the thighs sink into the backs of the legs. Soften the abdomen, drawing that feeling of energetic release up into the chest. Relaxing the abdomen and the upper chest and the shoulders and we relax into the arms. Release the shoulders into the floor, just completely relaxing around the collarbone. And feel the head, the, become, feel that you're becoming heavier bit by bit using the floor. Relax the chest and the shoulders and the forearms and the upper arms, just letting the body completely surrender into the straight line of the floor.
relaxing into the floor, letting go of the muscles of the shoulders and the arms and the wrists and the forearm. Draw that feeling of lightness up into the brain, up into the frontal lobes of the brain, breathing in somonically. Soften the neck and around the eyes and around the ears. Soften around the face, around the eyes, allowing the body to become heavy. Soften around the eyes, keep your eyes closed, just allow your body to become light with energy and gentle with the work of the pose.
in into the floor, just letting go of the floor, letting go of the muscles of the arms and the legs and the face. Just keep your eyes closed, bring your hands onto your lower ribs. And still with your eyes closed, just rub the palms of your hands together so they create, so you create lots of heat in the palm of the hand. And then cover your warm eyes with those warm palms, so not warm eyes, sorry, cover your eyes with those warm palms. Gleaming the energy from the heat. And then bend your knees, bring your feet onto the bolster, your feet apart, your knees together. And then gently roll onto your side, just uncover your eyes, just gently. And then straighten out the top leg, come back up into seated position just come into cross legs for a moment just observing your energy okay we're just going to do our supported butterfly pose so you're going to have your bolster but have a couple of blocks so you can create a little ramp so one bolster like this one like that and then you've got a little ramp just to make sure that that it feels nice and secure have a blanket for your head if you feel like you need it and then just have your feet close to the seat bones and then guide yourself down along the bolster just resting and open in the chest if your arms feel uncomfortable if they're just hanging down and it feels uncomfortable you can just put blocks underneath your elbows otherwise just using the bolster to open up the chest close your eyes and just release into the floor
Just focus on filling the lungs from the bottom to the top. Breathing evenly into both lungs. So this is a good way to just re-energize your body. So if there's stiffness in your hips and it's uncomfortable, then put blocks underneath your outer thighs. Otherwise, just using the floor. When you're ready, just push your hands into the floor and then lift yourself up into a seated position. Just again, just come into an easy cross legs. Just 
observing your energy. And then just sit back on your heels. If you've got, you can stay with your bolster in the ramp if you prefer, or you can raise the whole bolster up. We're just going to come into our supported child's pose. It's nice on the ramp. So just rest your head on one side. If it doesn't feel high enough for you, you can put some extra lifts underneath it. Just let the arms rest down to the floor. Letting the shoulders relax. Just allowing the body to mould itself into the bolster. So as we stay, you can alternate your head position from one side to the other just to stretch out your neck. Try and do an even amount on both sides if you can. Just turning your head from one side to the other just to stretch out the neck evenly on both sides. Swapping your head one more time.
letting go of the instinct to extend just allow yourself to drape over the bolster just a little longer and then just bring your hands underneath your shoulders and push yourself up into a seated position just sitting back on your heels for a moment you can do a supported spinal twist so just bring your bolster just directly down onto the floor have sit with your hip close to the end of the bolster doesn't really matter which one you do first I always do my right one first and then lift up into the chest and lengthen your chest along the bolster and then rest your head down onto the bolster if you feel like you need something under your head just put a folded blanket for your head whatever you need to maximize your comfort you just bring your head over into the same direction as you've put your knees
and then push your bring your hands underneath your shoulders push yourself up into a seated position just coming to cross legs for a moment just observe your energy and then just come over to the other side so the other hip is close to the bolster and then lift up into the chest lengthen yourself along the bolster and then just rest your head on the other side Okay, bring your hands underneath your shoulders and then just push yourself up into a seated position, just come into cross legs. Just feel all the energy around the spine and around the upper body. And then just have the bolster or underneath your knees have a folded blanket from underneath your head and 
then just guide yourself down onto the floor. And then allow yourself to gently release into the floor. Just allowing the body to just release completely into the ground. Letting go of the muscles of the arms and the legs. Just letting yourself release into the floor. body to become heavy on the ground and out of that heaviness observe a feeling of energetic lightness that radiates from the bones and into the muscles Into the muscles and the organs, just a feeling of positive energy that radiates into the organs and into the flesh and the skin. Using your breath to draw that positive energy down into the tips of the toes, into the tips of the fingers and up into the top of the head.
you're ready to disturb yourself, just wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, just bring yourself back into this pose of Shavasana. And then bend your knees, bring your feet onto the bolster, have your feet apart, your knees together. Just rest in your back into the floor just for a few more moments. And then draw your knees in towards your chest, just have a little rock from side to side, from top to bottom, just a gentle massage on the spine. And then roll over onto your right side. Just stay down for a breath or two. And then straighten out the top leg. Come back up into a seated position. Just a final cross legs with your hands in the masti. Just a final spinal lift. Drawing your breath in through your nose down into the abdomen. Be conscious of the energy that you have released through your practice this morning, that this evening, that good, positive, healthy flow of clean energy that the restorative poses bring to the body and to the mind. And then gently draw your chin down to meet your chest. Spend a moment to seek, to acknowledge the positive energy you've created inside. And then send some of that positive energy out into the world. Very gently release the backs of your hands down towards your knees, palms facing upwards, bring the tip of your index finger in contact with the tip of the thumb, just lengthening the other fingers away from the palms of the hands. Just a gesture of peacefulness and wisdom that you can carry into the rest of your evening. And then as you raise your head, allow your eyes to softly open and the focus to softly come back. Thank you very much. So hopefully you feel like you really re-energise yourself after maybe feeling a little tired after this warm day. So hopefully you feel nice and alive and full of good energy. Thank you very much for joining me.